So here is my model of the Turgopalatine fossa, also known as the PT fossa. Um, just to orient you quickly, we have uh, an interior view here, and we see uh, the window of bone, or cardboard in this case, that was cut away to expose the in inner contents of the PT fossa. You can see the Turgopalatine ganglion in there, and I s you can see the um, nerves uh, shown in white and the arteries shown in red. Here's the superior aspect over here. Here's a lateral aspect posterior aspect and the inferior aspect. Okay, So, uh, looking laterally, um, in a skull that's denuded of uh, tissue, you can see the turgomaxillary fissure. Okay, And through the turgomaxillary fissure is where the maxillary artery is going to be entering into the PT fossa and branching out. And we can see its branches in red. Um, and also going through or uh, transmitting through the trigomaxillary fissure is the uh, posterior superior alveolar uh, nerve. Okay. Posteriorly, we can see uh, the three holes here. Okay, and we see the foramen rotundum, and that's transmitting uh, V2, which is the uh, maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve. We see the pterygoid canal with the nerve and artery of the pterygoid canal. The um, this nerve is also known as the vidian nerve. And we see the pharyngeal canal. And the pharyngeal canal is transmitting the pharyngeal artery and the pharyngeal nerve. From the medial, medial aspect, we could see the sphenopalatine foramen. We see the post, posterior uh, superior nasal nerve. We see uh, the sphenopalatine artery. And we can also uh, see here, uh, this would be the nasopalatine nerve. From the superior aspect, uh, through the inferior uh, orbital fissure, we can see the infraorbital nerve with the zygomatic branch here, and we can see the infraorbital artery. And finally, diving uh, through the uh, palatine uh, canal, we can see the greater and lesser uh, palatine arteries and nerves. And that's the PT fossa.